the madman! Hundred gold. We got our uh, festival security tavern ticket soon. I think I deserve one pack. Alright, my second hipster. Finally. Hmm, no. Good stuff. Meh. Yeah, riffs. Extra large value mage works on my main account, so why shouldn't it work on the free to play account? Lots of discover, lots of card advantage. Eventually, you beat him up. Who needs infinitize when you have the bigger card draws, such as volume up and ghost rider? And with the other classes getting hit a little bit, perhaps I will be stronger than ever before. Huh, looks good. Now, this is no different from my main account at all. Easy game. Though, it's gonna be a while before I play Infinitize. I think I have too much value to go through. How many skellies do I have? I have one cold case. Uh, arcane spells cast twice. I've got the arc splitter. One arc splitter. Deathwing? That's way too much. I guess it's Law of Exalus. Good old fashioned paparazzi. Death Knight. Excuse me, over here. Yeah, this deck, um, because it's actually bigger than the Standard construction, constructed version that I have. Uh, the infinitize isn't as good because your hand is actually too big if you try to infinitize. Next turn I could go Vexalius, Arc, Arc, hmm, I'll try to save all that stuff until the Mana Thirst area, maybe. This is a bit anti-tempo, but... Oh.
That's the infinitize the maxitude buff coming into play here. One mana saving. Oh no, my flame elemental. Is 4 6 the biggest card I can expect to see? Quite possibly. Big enough to remove. I would say. But also, maybe not. Go ahead and do it. I'm gonna have a deal six damage cards coming right up. My hand is too full, even in free to play. Not I get rid of this hand so I can play my Ghost Rider and or Infinitas. Resist, Valley. Resist. Resist. How am I ever going to play Ghost Rider? Ah. Found how. Vexilus looming. It's eighteen burst damage I have. Strong first show. Turn one armor vendor, that's probably too early, and possibly overkill. Keep the spell coiler as a strong card, I guess. Even though there's no plans to play it.
All right, in this deck, what does the Shatter Shambler mess with? Posic. Roll, 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 roll. Oh, Elemental into Elemental. Nice. Is Synthesize the main reason you want to play Value Mage? That's actually the main reason, yes. I looked at all the class stuff from Festival of Legends that I had, and Mage seemed to have the strongest stuff with double Synthesize. Really, I'm not attached to any particular class right now in the free-to-play account. There's very... Oh, and the volume up. The volume up is a big deal. Uh, happened to get that epic in a pack opening. Anyways, there's nothing that's really uh, connecting me with any specific deck yet, which makes sense because I haven't really advanced that much. Good flame tongue placement. Hmm. Scary. How much does Bloodlust do right now? 13 plus 15, only 28 damage. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, they're out of stuff. Value Mage gonna get him in the end. Hopefully. Fire Sail does handle the board, but I was hoping for something a little bit more direct. Good enough, though. It's possible I won't need it if these skellies do well enough. Doot doot doot. I think I'm in the world where I actually... Right. I don't need it. Oh, order. Keeping the fire sale value. Dodge, dodge, taunt. Good enough. Shaman about to get outvalued. And an outvaluation masterclass. Oh. That's fine. Right? That is fine. I've got deal six in the box here. 
Two, three, four, poke, volume up to finale. I think that's the way to do it. Nah, I'd want to play Arcane Artificer with that. Gain a little bit of armor. One, 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 coin four. Oops, order. Do you think with an overall buff to the Overload package, the combo shaman, uh, you discover the combo deck has a shot of being playable now? It's certainly better. My main problem with that deck, and it's like a very comparable deck to this deck, I think, uh, is that it's missing a good amount of the Overload cards, which uh, aren't that expensive, and if I crafted them, uh, that could easily become a better deck than this one. It's kind of fun though, right? The opponent actually had a real deck and it looked like they curved fairly decently. Absolutely outvalued. And this is actually mainly why I switched to the mage versus the shaman, like looking at the situation. Uh, this mage deck can keep going and going in terms of value. The shaman deck uh, is a little bit more prone to stopping the value and may not have the synergy required to like do something that has a better game plan than just outvaluing right now. Okay. Tempo Posic. Decent play. I grant you permission. Holy crap, I'm up against a death knight called the Frostmorn. How will I how will I overcome this challenge? It's going to be coin posic for sure. Oh, hip. I prefer post The citadel stands strong. Hmm. 
Maybe not coin Plazic for sure. Plazic on four for sure. The small hits to Frost Death Knight. With those, I think this deck. This deck can take him. It's actually the right choice. This is incredible. The opponents mainly played all the cards from the opening hand so far. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hype, 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 hype. Hardcore cultist that actually came from the opening hand. All the cards have been played. School teacher and Marrow. Which card is in your opponent's hand? They played a chill fallen already. Um, these cards are all in their decks. Oh. They just top decked that, right? They must have. Haha! <laughs> Weakened from a 5 6 to a 3 6. Now, handleable. Actually, big change in this case. Got my Firelands portal to counter the Frostworm's breath when it lands. Okay, okay. That was some value. I can respect that. I think it's Flame Geyser, so I can actually play Rolling Stone. I don't have enough cards to die to touch. I think this is it. Kill 1-2 with this is uh, fairly weak, though. Maybe it is Frozen Touch. I have two cards on the board. I, I do want to play Artificer Firelands Portal next turn. I think it's Flame Geyser. Just the way the curve ended up being. Show me the box. What a box. Wait, I thought... Oh, no order! Okay, no, that's fine. I was like, oh, it's a shame that the Infinitize the Maxitude buff doesn't actually buff this deck because I don't have it. But it actually gets discovered enough that maybe this is a real buff to the free-to-play deck as well.
have sibling Tron buff in the house. Fingers crossed that Arcane Artificer stays alive. Alas, it is not. Unless? Holy! That's another plus 8 for me. Plus 10, actually. Plus 10. Boop. Hmm. I actually have run out of value. This seems good. I've almost run out of value, somehow. One, three, six, eight, nine. This first, then. Ah, another Astalor. Very good. Maybe I play Astalor instead of Fire Blasting. Sure. Hard to have any unspent mana. With infinitize, boop. Might I actually not have the answers for this? Oh wait! I've got, um, five to each! Nice. Double Narrow Manipulator out of the way. There's only one Frostworm's Fury. Plus, uh, you know, the big change, one of the big changes, is they can no longer discover more Frostworm's Furies. All of these incremental nerfs to the Death Knight will lead to me coming out ahead. Maybe. Uh-oh. The box? Save me the box. Uh, Dr. Boom card might be a little too slow. Poor Dr. Boom. He's just cheerleading.
Can we make it out of this? The opponent's almost out of stuff. Just hold on. We've seen a shocking amount of nerfs matter in this one. Nerfs slash buffs. I've seen like at least six or seven cards this game that have gotten nerfed slash buffed. We're missing the small AoE here. Hmm. And this card has gotten this card does not look good through the course of time through the history of time time has not treated that card nicely as i think what i meant to say okay fire sale better than the discounted missiles Am I in it? Probably not. Probably gonna get burst. No, eh, maybe not. It's just random spells. Okay, okay. My deck were slightly better quality. I think that was a very close one. Uh, the opponent's deck was like fully built out, I want to say. So if my deck were slightly better quality, I think I would have won that one. Oh, tavern ticket coming in, which means we can use our gold for one more pack. By the way, oh, one of the things I was curious about. Uh, does this have a pity legendary timer? Like, uh, do you get a guaranteed legendary in the first time? Anyone know? Okay, I believe I have not gotten the standard legendary yet, so we, we should open these until I get a legendary. Uh, might be a legendary in here. You know, across all sets, since I've only been opening festival, might actually get some surprisingly good stuff. Criminal lineup. Well, lots of good cards in this one. I wonder if that double cutlass carrier means that rogue is now my strong class. So backstab, deadly poison, on my base weapon, but maybe it's still good enough. Ambush, eviscerate, fan, minstrel, assassinate, cheat death question mark? Why does... Oh, I'm looking at core. I was like, where are all these cards? Concoctor, Jolly Roger, Disc Jockey, Harmonic Hip Hop, Bone Spike, Beatboxer, Colorless Courier is good even though I don't actually have the Pirates yet. Or do I? Pirates. Pirates. Oh! Hmm. Now let me get rid of a uh, few of the more questionable picks. Cheat. Ambusher. Full Paris. Not a very good discover card. Assassinate. One concoctor. Yeah, that's probably a terrible idea. So harmonic hip hop is basically better deadly poison. I kind of want to put in the Discoverers. But I also don't want to make this 40 cards necessarily. The Elven Minstrel, I guess, would be the worst card there. Disc Jockey... Yeah, it's kind of hard to combo that. Eviscerate... <laughs> Get rid of all the combo cards. It's too difficult to combo. 
I have a lot of cards I think I want to play on two. So I think Tour Guide on one is pretty good. Alright, let's go. Pirate Rogue. Ah. Clear the way for the courier to get some value. Darn. This would be so much better on the other side. But what can you do? Sometimes it's on the wrong side. Value pirate rogue is a go though. My powers are never truly Here we go. Ooh, a secret from the past. Ice flock? Question mark? Gotta play those while they're glowing. Oh. Hmm. Oh man, I gotta get in there. Oh, 
interesting i immediately queue into basically what my previous deck was it's a value mage double legacy if your opponent's at 21 i have 16 must be very close do i have lethal 16 18, 20. The box. gonna be a big deal all this uh damage well i guess it won't all this damage is really close i was gonna say As I level this up, we're gonna get some good cards. Fan of Knives. The entire reason for this deck is Cutlass Courier. I probably should keep that card. But also, I happen to get a Mic Drop and Harmonic Hip Hop. Wow, three excellent picks. Ah, I guess I'll pick that one. Tough pick. Value Paladin. Here we go. Why 
such a delightful party. Oh, crap. It's actually Kangor Paladin. Uh, maybe. It probably is Kangor Paladin. Dang. Okay, I can outvalue it as this deck. My hand is too full, Rogue. Here we go. Here for the door. This may just be my best song yet. I wanted to steal the homework so badly. I don't think the cards on my side are as good. Uh, okay, okay. An alley and discover a copy of a card your opponent played this game. Um, they're about to play some really gross things, probably. I think I need this mixtape this laid in. Zero mana deal four. Okay, they've only played paladin cards, mostly paladin cards. Pow! Actually, very close to lethal. Didn't actually need to play that for ransack. So I need to have this almost die. Obviously, I do this for. Four, three, eleven. All right, almost, almost. Just you wait until I get my swash burglars. I 
think Freebooter is the right mulligan, but I couldn't bring myself to mulligan it. I might dagger up and not attack, even though I have Jolly Roger, which is kind of tough. Oh, now I definitely have to attack. Maybe I'll just waste three of the damage of the Dissonant Hip Hop. Yeah, drop the mic. Hate to do this, but Ugh. What type of rune duck that is. Aha! It's frost! Yikes. The more you struggle, the better. That was very bad for me. Uh, 14 in play. Might not be lethal on me. Yeah, I think that's my best hope. Just hope it's not lethal on me. Scourge will never be played, of course. It's too late now. Drop the mic, hopefully I have lethal. Something, something. Guess if this is the line, then I should just be breaking the dance. Am I really going for lethal next turn? Meh, not really. I guess with a good enough Scourge, like, maybe there's a chance? Oh, never mind.
Okay, we're, we're starting to get places. We got Swash Burglar. Alright, toss in two Swash Burglar. We toss out... Hipster? Yeah, Swash Burglar is basically a better hipster. You know, what's an interesting idea, though. If I were to just craft a card, I wonder if it would be Astalore. It would go into a lot of decks, and if I'm playing Rogue in particular, I'm going to get the Shadow Steps. Which makes it more... Uh, good. Obviously, Swordfish is a great craft, but the problem is I might not be playing Rogue. But this and hip hop card is actually pretty interesting. You're uh, rewarded for playing it when you don't have a weapon or only one durability. Wretched exile into wretched exile. Such valley. The world's never seen such a play. Door of Shadows, the Sunken Vessel Valley? Thanks to having used both Wretched Exiles, that deck's gonna run out of value. Probably. Which was definitely played very wrong. I mean, obviously. Mob Viper does sound like a bot name. Is oh, is this the bot because can't add as a friend? That makes so much sense. You can't add friends during game, only after. Oh, that makes sense. Is the Snow Flipper Penguin the sign that it's a bot deck? Hmm. I guess I'll check after. There's no way a human would be playing like this. Right? Wait, that was a very human turn. Holy cow. Get that value in.
Or to a ghoul to the face. Hmm. The more you struggle, the better. Weasel. Fucking near. Big grab, big grab. Hmm, the card to cut for that. Banana knives? Not really a valley rogue. Wonder if I can start putting in some combo cards. Eviscerate, beatboxer. I just have some ones now. Hmm. Paparazzi, Nerubian Vizier, there's not really undead here. Oh, a Jolly Roger. Colorless Carrier. Hmm, never mind. I can stay. I think the beatboxer is strong enough to add. Alright, not enough undead. But, importantly, I just got 100 gold. And maybe the legendary lurks in here. Ooh, second concoctor. Did that make the no no? The concoctor is not good if you don't have potion belt. Probably. Swash into dagger into mic drum. Into hip hop raider. That's a curve. Kind of sussy card there. Unlucky. Unlucky, but not that big a deal, really. Actually, a surprisingly large amount of ways to deal with this. I'll take that path. Go with my dissonant raider plan. And then, on five, I have the imposter to get me to the right amount of mana for a mic drop. Face angle, let's go. The double eviscerate says, Go face! Go face! Do it.
Hmm. Is that lethal? 5, 6, 8, 12. Yes. Wait, no. 5, 6, 9, 13. One off. Shadow step incoming soon. The big one. Anyways, I have an arena ticket. Let's go. And a mage is the pick. Magic will prevail. <laughs> 